everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell if you've seen the last videos that I posted on this channel, I am home. So not only am I home from my mission trip, as I said in one of my previous videos, a little update video, um, I was only going to be home for five days and then I was leaving again with my family. So given that I'm a bit jet lagged um, from coming back from the US and Costa Rica, I decided that I would ease myself in by doing a haul video. So this is what I bought in China slash Costa Rica and the US um, but really I only bought one thing in China which I will show you now. So this is a haul showing you exactly what I bought. I didn't buy a ton of stuff and um, I know some people especially Europeans when they go to the US go crazy. But to be honest I did not have the money to go crazy so this is what I bought. I still bought a couple really nice things and yeah. I think I will just hop in. So the first thing that I bought that I'm going to show is this ring um, and I'll just stand up and I'll try and show it. So it's kind of hard to show with the light but because um, it won't really go into focus but that is the ring I bought. I bought this ring when I was in Beijing on my way back. Um, so I had been in Beijing for two days, Sam and Chef for how many days? 10 over 10 days and then came back and it was during that one day that I had in Beijing that I bought this ring and if you're wondering it says God is love and it has that um, in the inside in English so yeah I will maybe leave a link as to where you can find this I think the guy sells online and he was super nice so yeah, uh, really good quality. There's earrings, necklaces, loads of really, really nice stuff like that. So I will leave that in the description below. So I'm not sure if I said this yet, but some of the stuff in this haul is a little bit random. Um, just because I only bought like five clothing items, um, but they are all, not all of them are like super wow pieces. They're all just kind of random pieces that I picked up and then I have some earrings and some other random crap basically that I picked up as well. So starting off I got Nike shorts. Um, I just got a Nike Tempo shorts. These are nice because they actually have a slightly, I think these are the Tempo style. They have kind of the mesh at the side and they have the brief in the inside. I am a size medium for reference and they are so comfortable. I just got the all black ones because I have um, running shorts of this type from Forever 21 but they are so short that you never really feel like wearing them. To be honest I think I'm gonna get rid of them because they're just weirdly short but these are so comfortable. I wore them all the time in Costa Rica because it was hot and you don't want to wear chino shorts and I don't really wear denim shorts. These are so good for any warm weather. We went hiking. They're long enough as well that if you suffer from chub rub you will not get chub rub. Um, I don't but I will be wearing these all the time for dance. They're just definitely worth it. Also, I got these on sale. I think I bought everything on sale. Yeah, pretty much everything I bought was on sale. So these were on sale. I think there was a 40% off or something in Macy's. So yay for shorts. So going into more regular clothing kind of stuff. Um, I bought this tank top from Aerie. It is part of the Soft and Sexy line and if you know these t-shirts, you know they are super, super soft and stretchy. And what kind of appealed to me with this one is that it's not too long, especially in the front. It's kind of up slightly shorter because most of the time the airy, soft and sexy stuff is very long for someone my height. I'm 5'2". Um, a lot of people will argue and say I'm like 5'4", but I'm actually just about 5'2". Um, not 5'2 not and a half, actually, just 5'2". So, um, with a sh very short torso. So my mom and I have had to give them to my neighbor who is about five foot eight. Um, she loves them. She has a whole collection now. But this tank top is shorter and I love it. Very wearable, good for dance, good for just regular every day. And you won't get a farmer tan because tank tops. So then going into Loft, um, they had a big, big sale on. And usually I love Loft, but there was a lot of like, because it was sale and it wasn't the start of a season or anything, there wasn't a ton of stuff. I think maybe in the autumn time I would have done a bit better, but I did get some really cute stuff and they were both on sale. So first of all, I've been wearing this t-shirt a whole bunch. Um, I got this plain grey t-shirt with a little tie at the end. 
and it's kind of slightly boat neck and again the sleeves are like they're like a they're not a short sleeve it's like a longer tank so it doesn't really like come down like that but it just kind of hangs over and it's really nice it's really flattering it goes really well with white jeans it just looks real real chic and cool um and this was originally like 24 dollars, and then it was reduced to 12 but then i think i got it for 10 so that was pretty nifty and i've been wearing this all the time so next from loft i got this super cute sweater top and it reminds me of something like an american girl doll would wear especially this color and my mom and i were laughing at it and um, so this says it was I can see two reduction stickers, one that says $44.99, other that says $39.99 and I think I paid $15 for this or maybe $20. Um, it's really cute on, I think it's going to be really nice in the autumn on like a warmer autumn day um, so that I'm, you don't look too summery but it's also um, a little bit brighter and short sleeved and everything and um, if you can't really see it I'll probably be styling this on Instagram so if you haven't followed me already on Instagram you should do that it's linked below um, but yeah this is a small usually I'd be an extra small or a double extra small in a lot of American brands their stuff seems to be very big but they only had a small in this but I decided to get it anyways because it fit fine and yeah very cute very wearable so a very exciting purchase that I made on this trip um, was something I've been thinking about for about two years. Two years ago was the last time I was in the US and I was looking to buy this but couldn't find it so I ended up buying a knockoff which served me very well, still have, probably will give to a neighbour, but I bought Jack Rogers. So I bought them, I think this is the classic platinum or else it's looks more platinum to me but maybe it's gold and um, I love these I've heard that they definitely need to be broken in so I'm kind of in the process of doing that now because I really don't want to get blisters I got way too many blisters in China so I'm like don't want to go through that again but I'm so excited to have bought these and um, they're much heavier than the knockoffs that I had which were actually great and um, when I get used to wearing these I might do a comparison video um, of you know wearing knockoffs versus real Jack Rogers but yeah they are like pretty much all leather so the sole is a bit weird like getting used to because it's completely leather sole but yeah I'm so excited Um, I love these I wanted to wear them today but uh, it's dark I pretty much want to wear them every day but it's always dark here so um, I went into the actual Jack Rogers store we went up there and they had a bit of a sale on and they had so many cute shoes but I really wanted to get like classic ones so I paid full price but um, yeah I would definitely be going back and definitely be getting a cute pair or maybe a monogrammed pair. Oops. So now starting into the random stuff I bought on this trip. Um, the first thing is a clothing item but is still like random. I bought a t-shirt in the like resort that we stayed in in Costa Rica in the inside of Costa Rica, not the beach. We were in near volcanoes and stuff for a while and then we went out to the coast, the Pacific coast, but we stayed, it's in Arnal, which is a volcano. So it was in that area around Arnal volcano and the place was called the Lost Iguana. And they had these t-shirts and they were a tenor. So I decided to get this and it says the Lost Iguana, Arnal, Costa Rica, because it was such an unusual place. But then, gotta be cheesy. And it says on the back, he says, I want to be in Costa Rica and um, I think my brother says like I want to be who I want to be or there's so something weird but I liked this one I want to be in Costa Rica and yeah it's an iguana wearing sunglasses and this was the only t-shirt they had this wasn't like the funny one it was just like the only one so yeah I got this and it's a really comfy t-shirt so other than like some stickers because I think I'm going to like re-sticker my laptop cover. I got a koozie that says Costa Rica on one side and Puerto Vida on the other. Um, yeah, you know, because basic things like that. I've never had a koozie, but I drink a lot of Diet Coke, which I'm trying to stop drinking. My mom was like banned it from my house, but like this is from my Diet Coke. So then back in New York when I was in Brooklyn, um, we were in Williamsburg and we were like walking around and we went into this really cute shop. I can't remember what it was called, but they sold some bandeau stuff and I got this, the straws here. This is, it's full of stuff because 
packing and whatever. Um, but it says, no bad days. And yeah, I love the bandeau tumblers. Um, I really wanted to get one that said love potion, if anyone remembers that from like last year, I think it was. Uh, but it sold out on ASOS and that's the only place I can really get bandeau. But I love this, no bad days. Yes, and can't wait to use it. I love using these when driving. Uh, at first, like I used, I had a couple and or had just one. I never used it for like two years, but I don't like doing like this when I'm driving. I prefer having a straw. So that's my excuse to buy ridiculous things like this. So lastly, I have some jewelry accessory bits. Um, the first thing I got are these earrings. If I can pick them up, because there's a lot in them from Macy's um, and they are tassel earrings. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw these. I didn't think I would be brave enough to wear them, but apparently I am. Um, they are so, so cute. I will possibly put in a little zoomed in clip, but they are just so cute. They're not too heavy either, because I'm not very good with wearing heavier earrings, um, but I really like them and I got white because I thought it was the most summery and most basic color and I definitely think they're more of a summer spring earring. So again in Brooklyn I got a headband and um, there's a place called Stoneflower. I think it's originally from Boston and that's where I had been in one before. Um, if you have watched a couple of my videos I'm often wearing a headband and uh, my mom always makes fun of me for it but I love a good headband and they, I have these printed ones that I got in a place called Stoneflower in Boston, but there's actually one in Williamsburg in Brooklyn, and I had no idea. Um, I would have planned to go had I known, had I even looked into it, but I got a new headband and it has a really cute jewel on the side, so I'll do another zoomed in clip for this as well. There's no point in me going up, but it's got like soft kind of suede material in the inside, and it's a really thick fabric. It's just a really, high quality headband. They have so many cute headbands. I literally just want to buy them all, but they are a bit pricey. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it if you don't really wear them all that often, but I think it's well worth it. I love headbands and I, I always just feel like perfectly done up with a headband, like girl boss. And I know it looks kind of ridiculous, but I also don't care. So the very last thing I have in this haul are more earrings and they are from Kendra Scott. So I had been wanting a pair of, I believe this is the L, because that's what I had been looking at this size and this is the size I had imagined it to be, the L earrings, um, for quite a while now. And I did consider buying them from Nordstrom online and having them shipped to Singapore for my dad to bring back because there's a lot of import duty in Ireland, like it's, it's rough. That's why I would never buy from American websites, even if they do ship internationally, um, at least to home. So I got these, I don't have the official color, I don't have any of that. They are gold with like a midnight blue uh, stone and they are so, so cute. Again, they're not too heavy, um, which is good for me because I really don't want to get like pulled lines in my ears. But yes, they are so, so cute and I will always put in a zoom to clip. But I really, really like these and I'm going to be wearing these a lot in the near future. So that is it for this haul. I managed to form some full sentences, which is good. The jet lag has just like built up so bad for me um, from just going and going and going into different time zones. But we're on the end. Hopefully be posting again in the next week or so, hoping to get back onto my regular schedule by next week. So that is it from me for this video. If you haven't already, be sure I've said it a couple times, follow me on Instagram. Any updates will probably be on there. And that is it for this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.